I'm Jillian Raby and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Samsung ramps up expectations for the Galaxy S6, NASA wants to build a submarine, and Mattel rolls out a new Viewmaster for the internet age. Outside of the iPhone, few handsets can manage as much pre-release hype as a new Samsung Galaxy, the firm's flagship phone. The newest iteration, the S6, is coming soon, and word is it'll have some serious cameras built in. According to some recently posted benchmarks, the S6 will be packing a 20 megapixel rear camera and your selfies will look better than ever due to a 5 megapixel front camera. Manual camera controls and raw capture ability may round out the features. The screen will have a 2560 by 1440 resolution, numbers that not long ago were high-end on full-size computer monitors. There's no release date yet, but Samsung may have more news come March 1st. If you haven't been keeping track, NASA landed a little probe on Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, back in 2005. It sniffed around and took some photos revealing rocks and whole oceans of liquid methane. Oceans, eh? Well now, NASA wants to send an entire submarine to Titan so they can cruise around in all that methane and see if there are any methane sharks, old Soviet subs, and maybe Free Willy. Or something. Anyway, for now, it's just an idea, but who knows. We talked about a Mattel Google Viewmaster mashup earlier, and now Mattel has taken the wraps off a prototype device, and it looks pretty cool. As expected, it's basically a polished up version of Google's cardboard VR headset, and you just snap your favorite smartphone into the front of it. Early looks reveal VR trips to SF, some dinosaurs, and a visual tour of the moon. The round reels hold new content, but for the most part, you can just use the Mattel app. Mattel says the new Viewmaster will work with Apple and Android devices and should sell for about 30 bucks. Looks like fun. That's DT Daily for today. Have a great weekend.